Welcome back. I'm joined by Dion Thompson, Rhett Boyd once again, and we're talking the top 10 seeds in Division I based off conference. And if you take a look at it, the track with the most of any team, they have six, followed by the NLL with two, and the City League by one. And we've discussed Northview. They have a 19-0 record. They didn't get that number one seed potentially maybe because of that Northern Lakes League only I having two up there. I don't disagree with that graphic. I, I think we talked about it, uh, you know, kind of like what Rhett said, and I'm going to steal his thunder just a little bit, but I agree with Rhett. Said. We just don't know enough about them. Mm -hmm. I think when you see the track, those guys have beat up on each other, you know, all year long. We've had opportunities to watch them play some quality, even out of conference uh, opponents. So I agree with it. I, I, do, I do too. And because um, when you look at it, it's about what you know versus what you think. And I think when you look at the track, you said it, they've beaten up on each other all year long. You've had teams going on the road and winning in the track, which you know, every, it's nice to hold home serve, but when you steal some on the road, it even speaks louder about your ball club. And we've mm -hmm. seen that uh, with those six teams that are in that graphic. And with Northview, can Northview beat the, these same teams we're talking about? Absolutely. Have we seen it yet? No. And I think that is what, that's what we're, you know, what we're kind of looking at and why maybe they got the two seed versus the one seed. But, hey, you know what? It's, what's said, it's all said and done. you got to play the game. Just whatever on paper it is what it is, play the game. All right. 100%. Now let's take a look at Division Three. Um, we have to take a look at Cardinal Stritch getting that number two seed, maybe eventually taking on number one Genoa in Division Three. I like that stretch team. Yeah. I don't know how come they're not number one, but I guess it doesn't matter. You still have to play the game. Yep. But I, I like that guard, Tan. I, I'm not even gonna say Tan. They got three or four guys out there. They got some some big guys. I think that's a very good team. And I said it earlier in the year. I think that's a team. If things go the way I think they can go, I think they can go to Columbus. I really I agree with you 100%. Now Genoa. The number one seed, undefeated. Um, Jacob Plants has done an outstanding year, very good on the gridiron as well. And you know, he's got help around him too. And at the team, when you if you're trying to compare him to some teams back this way, they beat Anthony Wayne um, earlier this year as well. So um, it's not going to be easy, but I'm I agree with you, Deanne. The, that starting backcourt, then you bring Jaden Wilson off the bench oh, who can man. shoot the three. You got six, 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 seven inside with Carrier and, and Finch. You know, that's, you got the parts, you got the pieces. I think they play very well together. They share the basketball. And, and when, it, when your three starting uh, guards each can get you 20 on a given night, you're in good shape. All right, now let's take a look at Division Four. You have to give nod. Mommy Valley and Zeb Jackson getting that number two seed. Toledo Christian, number three. Ottawa Hills, number four. So the top four teams in the TAC getting the top three seeds, four seeds, I'm sorry, in Division Four. Uh, what does that say about this TAC club, this TAC conference? It's everything that you, you, that Dion and Dennis and you guys have talked about in Game Day Nation for the last, you know, couple of months, and, and that simply is, it is a competitive, deep league with great talent. I coached against each one of those guys with the exception of Coach Cash America. And I'm going to tell you what, when you're dealing with those guys, they're very prepared. You're, you're playing chess, not checkers with those guys. They understand how to coach, they understand how to get their teams ready. It can be very interesting. But I do like Toledo Christian coming out at the bottom. I, I think they got some great shooting, they got some great athletes. And Coach McWinney is used to being there. Mommy Valley, I think they're just too, they're too deep um, and talented. I think they'll get through, and I agree with you. I think Toledo Christian gets through as well to, to, uh, to have round three. Uh, between. Well, Miami Valley's won both those games so far okay. this year, and it's hard to say that Dave McWinney's going to get beat three times by the same team in the same season. But, but I, I had that second game with Miami Valley, and as good as Toledo Christian played, Miami Valley still was able to win. So I'm going to go with Miami Valley. One last question. Who, what, what's the team you have going the farthest in the state tournament? I don't know. It was enough for just to try to absorb those I brackets. Know. I know. Are you talking beyond the regionals? I, I think when you look at the – the teams that we just discussed, the Division One, Three, and Four, I think Cardinal Stretch. I can carry. I'm gonna go with Stretch. I just okay. just love what they do, and I'll be honest with you. I think if Stretch was in Division One, they'd probably be, you know, giving a lot of people a lot of problems because they have played a tough schedule. They've played uh, very good teams, so they're battle tested. Uh, I like what Coach Catch Merrick. He has those guys together uh, up top. I mean, if Whitmer can somehow stay out of foul trouble. I think they have a lot of pieces. They can score. They defend you really well in the half court, so we'll see. 